What's up, guys? Welcome to the first ever episode 51 of the Kind of Funny Games cast. As always, I am Tim Geddes, joined by the coolest dudes of video games, Colin Moriarty and Greg Miller. Hello. It's good you to be still here have the damn Nintendo champion. I'm still the Nintendo champion. I don't like one day, one you may, your next chance to win it, Toadstool Tour. We can okay. see if you do it on okay. YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Oh, my God. This is going to be bad. I'm letting you know right now it's going to be bad. When I kick your ass at yeah. Toadstool Tour, I'm well aware. Why do you think okay. you said it's I got fine. to pick? Yeah. I offered you. Tell me what game you want to have your rematch for the title mm-hmm. in. And mm-hmm. you said, I get to pick. Well, clearly, I picked sure. Toadstool Tour. I mean, it's fine, you know. GameCube's Toadstool Tour? Yeah. This is one of those things where it's like the it's like a steel cage match. It might not be my specialty, but I still, I'm going to do it. And who knows what type of weird distractions I'll bring. Anything can happen in yeah. the cage. Anything can happen in the Nintendo World Championships. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. Championship. <laughs> Nintendo Championship. So, for those of you that have never seen this show before, Welcome. we like to talk about video games and stuff. And this is a very special episode where we're wrapping up the year by predicting the next year. If you want to see what we thought of last year, you should go to last week's episode, episode 50, where we reviewed all the games that we played that year. If you want to see what our 10 favorite games are of last year and our game of the year, you're going to want to come back next week. But this week, we're just predicting shit. Predicting 2016. So if you want that early, go to Kind of Funny. No, go to Patreon.com slash Kind of Funny Games. You can get that early over there. If you want all of this, whenever the hell you just want, it's just going to come to you. You go to YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny Games. Nailed it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's out there. People people fucking know. They understand. They understand. Also, go watch the Game Over Reggae show on YouTube.com slash Kind of Funny. Blew my mind the other day when somebody tweeted at me and he was like, dude, I've been listening to the Games Cast for 30 weeks and I just found out you have another show called the Game Over Reggae show. <laughs> I was like, wow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, it's a funny world that we live in. Um, so we're going to start this off big. We're talking big games of 2016. So I have this whole list of games. We're just going to kind of oh, talk cool. about them. And, you know, just just, just, talk, just talk about them. Just see, right. see how big we think they're going to be. Sure. And all of that. Mainly, these are multi-platform games. Okay. Because the topics coming up are going to be focused on the platforms. You got gotcha. your Nintendo. You, you got your PlayStation. You got your Xbox. So let's start off with a little game called Doom. Doom. Yes. Okay. Had it's coming. Big, had its big reveal in 2015. That alpha has been going on. Mm-hmm. Do we think this is going to be a thing? What do you define as a thing? I don't know. I think it'll be That's a thing. Nice. I don't think it's going to be like one of the best selling games of the year. I think it's going to be a big deal when it comes out. I think it's definitely going to be one that a lot of people are going to be playing, talking, tweeting about. Mm-hmm. I'm excited for it for the more single player focused. Sure. First person shooter. Also, it's Doom. How can you not get excited about yeah. Doom? It's yeah. Doom. It is Did true. you like the old Dooms? I, was, I liked... I like Doom 3 a lot Okay, with the, the flashlights. Sure. Yeah, just because it was really pretty. I remember that was one of those games where uh, you, you take your friend to Best Buy and you go to the, the demo kiosk because it had everything on like ultra settings on the PC and you're yeah. like, holy shit. Sure. I need to play this. Yeah, Doom 1 and 2 were big or seminal games for me in terms of like that was my first foray into PC gaming that like really like I guess not hardcore, but like, you know, real PC gaming in man. Did I fucking hate it? Cause mm-hmm. I remember being awake till one in the morning trying to get drivers installed and I'm not making this up. And then, but finally, finally getting it to run. Yeah. And after going into my parents' computer and fucking around with all these background settings, not knowing what I was doing, but finally getting it running and playing it. I was like, this is awesome. And it was that like mature game that I probably shouldn't have been playing that yeah. young and da da da. But man, that was a lot of fun. So to have it come back and be, Something that I think is going to be a big deal. I don't mm-hmm. know how great the game will be on any of these other things, but it will be a big deal when it comes out. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, it's it's funny. You gave you gave a look when I said Doom Three. Like I was just too young for Doom One and Two. Like, Doom Three is great. Those those weren't things that I like. They were way older than me. Sure. Like, then also I had no idea how to use a fucking PC back then. But yeah, Doom Three was when I was like cognizant and reading about this game coming out and how good it looked and all this stuff. So and yeah, Doom One is uh. I'd say one of the five most important games ever launched. So I think that it's, um, you know, it's huge that any Doom game would come out. And there's a story behind this game, too, as we often talk about. It's very tortured development for this game. So uh, I'll be interested to see yeah, how it all turns out. I mean, Doom is Doom 4, as we thought it was going to be called, has been teased forever. Remember, Doom 3 came out in 2004, 2005, maybe. I think it was 2004. Um so it's been a very long time. It'll be 12 years or so since Doom uh, came out. Is this last. game going to be a big deal, Colin? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty big deal. I don't I don't think it's going to be a uh, Call of Duty or Battlefield sure, of game, course, of course. but I think it's going to be a pretty pretty big deal. How uh, excited are you? You're a big Doom fan. I love Doom. Yeah, um, yeah I'm excited for, for the single player. I don't want to play the multiplayer at all. That's why I'm not even, you know, I could have gotten into the alpha and I'm just not really interested. Um, 
Yeah, I, I want to see what id can do. This is a different id and a new id, mm-hmm. um, and uh, an id without its leadership or its old leadership. Um, so I'm interested to see like what, what like what what do they what do they prioritize now? Mm-hmm. Rage was the last game they released, and and uh, you know they prioritize fidelity, um, I think, over substance. Well, sometimes with the or they're known to do that with some of their games. The Carmack's kind of obsession with that shit. So um, now that he's out of the fold, I'm interested to see like what um, what happens with this because uh, they're a really fascinating studio. Um, even though a lot of their people aren't really there anymore, um, and everyone should read Masters of Doom, as I remind you often. Mm-hmm. Great book. Do you guys think it's going to be an, a seven, eight, or nine type of game? Eight. Mm. Yeah, I would say eight's probably right. Yeah, Your I think first step safe, out right? in a long, long time. Mm-hmm. Shake off the rust and see what you got. Cool. Dark Souls three. No, oh, it's mm. gonna be big. Mm-hmm. Uh, the last Dark Souls game. Uh, apparently, they say. Uh, the last Dark Souls game that From will do. I, I don't know if Bandai Namco wants to find another studio to do it. Um, they also, I think, were pretty clear that they don't want to do Bloodborne again either. So I, I think that, you know, if Sony wants to do Bloodborne, they're going to have to find another studio to do that too. Uh, they want to do something else. And people forget what From is capable of. I mean, From did, you know, a lot of really weird shit back in the day. And I think they want to they want to get back to that, whether it's uh, like King's Field. Um, they did the robot uh, mech game. What the fuck is it? Um, Armored Core. Armored Core, yeah. yeah. So it's like, uh, like they... They don't want to do this shit anymore. I don't, I don't really, bl- I don't really blame them. You know, like, um, God damn them and their success. So, so I, I don't think they want to be known for like one thing only. Sure. So I think it's gonna be a big blowout. That's respectable. I think, I think this is gonna be like a big, a big, you know, conclusion mm-hmm. to their trilogy. Um, even though they've done really technically five of them at this point, with Demon Souls and Bloodborne. Uh, so yeah, I think Dark Souls series is gonna be huge. The Division. Fuck yeah! Can't wait. <laughs> I can't excited. wait to watch you get crushed. They uh, they've reiterated over and over and over again the last two months that you can play it completely by yourself. Um, so I believe them. Um, you can play Destiny by yourself. Again, I did. Uh, so um, so yeah, I mean, I'm ex- I, the Division's probably like my most anticipated game. That was I'm stoked. That. I can't wait to see how it all turns out because that is such a cool idea. You know what I mean? And then like me and Alfredo are going to be out there. We already said that. You're all welcome to join us, but we do the thing where we don't turn on each other at the end. That's very important. Mm. We turn on each other at the end. We throw you out of the group. Yeah, Alfredo and I've signed this in blood. Good. Okay. My favorite way to sign things with Alfredo. Dead Island Two. I don't think yeah, you think it's there's not even a chance of coming out. Yeah. No. No way. They just scrapped the whole thing. No way. I don't think. I don't know if that game. Will, maybe that game might not ever see the light of day. Oh no. Well, not that game. But there'll be a Dead Island Two for sure. Too not much the one Jaeger in that did. franchise. No. Jaeger is no. 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 Mm-hmm. No. 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 Tekken Seven. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, no. So Tekken's a weird thing where, I mean, you know, Street Fighter, I think, kind of had its its resurgence with five, and it just kind of kept coming. And Tekken's just always been there. Well, Street Fighter has resurgence with four. Sorry, yes, four. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just always kind of, but Tekken's just always been there, always releasing games, whether it's the tag tournament or the yeah, normal one. Tag. And I feel like it has the hardcore fan base that is small, mm-hmm. but they're super stoked about this stuff. And That's the, a great Akuma, way to explain it. Yeah. Was announced yep. to be a playable character. They're doing cool things. Um, we'll see. We'll no see sign of Street Fighter versus Tekken, of course. Yeah, of course. Or Cross Tekken, whatever the fuck it's called. Or te- no, Tekken Cross Street Fighter. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter because it's probably yes. not real. Um, <clears throat> Mass Effect Andromeda. Ooh-wee. Yeah, it's gonna be a big one. Um, I think it will come out next year, and I think that I mean that's what they've probably targeted, but I think it will will come out. Um, that game's gonna be massive. I think that game's gonna be really really cool. I'm excited to see how it connects to the old trilogy, and I I want to see. Um, what it's all about? You know, a lot of rumors about what it, what they're doing. Bring back the Mako is one of the rumors that they're you know, it's it's a clever kind of thing to get out of the galaxy completely. You have to if you've played Mass Effect Three, um, to go to the nearest galaxy and have a story there. But I I still believe that it will connect back to this to the original story in some respect. I don't think it will do it immediately, but uh, I'm excited. I want to see what they what they're capable of. And th- and this is without Casey Hudson. This is um, you know, in a world post Mass Effect Three Fallout. Yeah, like, yeah, a game made in a vacuum, a game in development for a long time and gestating for a while. So mm-hmm. I think there's going to be a lot of expectations on Mass Effect Andromeda, but I think that they'll probably they'll probably meet them. I hope they go. I hope they stay quiet about it. Mm-hmm. I hope it gets a big blow out of E3, similar to Fallout, and then it's coming out this fall. You know, this fall. We don't have yeah. to tell you or show you or anything. We don't have to do a preview tour. You don't have to have the first 30 minutes of it posted everywhere. And like, let's just get out there and go. What do you think is the likelihood of that happening? Not high. Not high. I don't yeah. know. I don't think. EA I think it is high. You do. Yeah. I think EA will do it. Where they'll do a couple of different things and events and reveals next mm-hmm. year throughout it. Mm. Ghost Recon Wildlands. I feel like that's just that was announced and then nothing. It was also even feels said. like it also feels like one of those video game names that came out of a random name ge- generator. <laughs> Ghost Recon is like. <laughs> 
Wildlands. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, I, I, mean, I haven't followed anything about that since that trailer. Or I the mean, trailer I don't, where they, that's yeah. the thing. Was there anything? Like, has anyone even mentioned the game? Yeah, no. <laughs> Like, what E3 was that? Was that, that? That was just past either. Then they ended you know, what was the EA conference with it or whatever? You go to UB, no, UB, 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 yeah. Sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Where it was like, yeah, the guy's falling in ATVs and shit. Yeah, and we're yeah, all like, yeah. what the hell is this? Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't. I, I don't think thought, I haven't thought one fucking second about that game. That, I don't. I mean, I don't think that game's coming out this year. I, I think that that's like uh, Watch Dogs, like where they'll string that one along for a while. I don't mm. need that game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then South Park, the fractured butthole. I hope. Do you, when out. do you think we'll see that? 2017. Yeah, I don't think it's the next year game, but God, I would love to have it. I would mm-hmm. love to have it this year. That was last South Park game was so good. Yeah, but no, I don't think it's this year. No. Unravel. Oh, Yarny. I am stoked. For What's this. up with Yarny? Yeah, my, my dude. It's crazy thing. that they. I'll, I'll pop in every so often on the PlayStation Store to redeem a code or whatever, and on the on the like, web browser version, and they've been doing this for pre-order forever oh really it's just up there i'm like damn that's a lot of publicity for little old yarny i'm glad yeah go get him yarny mm-hmm. but yeah it looks cute looks interesting yeah i, I really want to see more about the game that's definitely one of the ones i'm looking forward to the biggest thing the i most. think you know that when i think of yarny i think of when we got to interview peter moore at e yeah mm-hmm. e- e- at e3 when he was like yeah you know like we're not, we're not gonna make money on yarny but that's the risk or the the benefit of making you know madden. Uh, yeah madden and yeah. Uh, fifa that we can go out and make these cool games too that's great like, hell yeah peter moore Deus Ex Mankind Divided. Mm. Do you guys care about this at all? I do, but the game was delayed, and I, I don't, uh, I, uh, I don't know that I feel like. Remember, we talked about this. The explanation yep. that they gave made it seem like the they weren't happy with just what they had yet. Yeah, but they I were so close when they, I mean that game was supposed to be out what this spring, right? Early spring, and now well, it's it was pushed. supposed to be out twenty fifteen. Oh, but okay. originally, and then, yeah, they then it got pushed it, to spring. Got really but then, yeah, then it got pushed to the yeah, summer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm skeptical. Mm-hmm. Right now, everything mm-hmm. I've seen for it, like I hosted that uh, panel for them at Pax Prime, right or whatever, yeah. and that was the first time watching. I was like, "Oh, they, they this seems like they've addressed the problems I had with the original, where yeah. it just wasn't. I didn't feel like it was fun to play. I didn't feel empowered or whatever. And watching this now, I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Mm-hmm. And so I'm, my, when they originally said this, I was like, well, that sucks because they're missing their window. I thought they had a chance to be uh, another dying light in the beginning of the year, hit before the big stuff happened. Here's this really cool thing. But now they have a chance to go out and be Arkham Knight, where they're just like hitting the summer, Witcher 3, where you hit in this place yeah. where not a lot of big games are. So let's try to get some thunder. Let's try to get some speed behind us. Yeah. Nick's not here right now, but he's stoked. Yeah, loves Nick is the, a big loves fan. Those games. No joke. That'll be the one game he plays next year. Yeah. Um, so Battleborn and Overwatch. Mm. <laughs> Are either of them going to be a big deal? And no. can both of them kind of Over- live in Battleborn, the same world? definitely not. This, yeah, hold on. Let's take this one at a time, I guess. Overwatch in, is the Blizzard one, right? Yeah. So, like, is that going to be a big deal to a, to a small group of people? Yes. And when those alpha codes and or I think it was the alpha or the beta yeah. went off, people were, people were going nuts. People were going nuts. So and the people that played it fucking loved it. And that's the thing is like there's a big group there that is going to be when that hits, it, they'll be all over it, and we'll see if that then expands to make it a big deal to bigger, oh, a bigger, bigger people, bigger people like myself, mm-hmm. to a bigger group of people. Battleborn is the one where it's the rock and a hard place trying to push up this giant steep hill. When Randy Pitcher talks about that game, I get excited about it. When we interviewed him at the GameStop Expo, I was like, huh. This actually sounds cool. I'd like the chance to play this. I'd like to get you know further into it or whatever. But it's when they talk about it. I still haven't seen something from it where it's like, oh, man, this is amazing. I can't wait to be that character. And that guy seems like, you know, at PSX, they come out and announce the, what was it, koala? Penguin, dude. Penguin in a thing. And it's just like, cool. All right. Like, I, that's a game I need to play. I think people need to play, and then mm-hmm. we'll know more about it. But is it going to be super successful? No, I don't think so. I don't think it, I think it's going to be a really, really tough IP to launch in this marketplace mm-hmm. and say, here's what this is. And everyone's going to say, why isn't it Borderlands? And they're going to be like, we got to do other things, but it's kind of Borderlands, but it's not. It's kind of mobile, but it's not. Yeah. The messaging's confusing on it. Uh-huh. Dishonored. Wrong, hmm? Did I nail that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Dishonored 2. Do you think we'll see it? Yeah, I think so. Um, based on the timing of Dishonored Definitive Edition, whatever the fuck they call it, I think I don't think you launch that too soon. I think that's probably a fall game, and I think it'll be uh, it'll be good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Arcane doing their thing. A lot of people like that first. Dishonored. Yeah, didn't click for me. I wish him well. Mirror's Edge Catalyst for sure comes out. It's yeah. coming out. I, yeah. I I don't uh, I don't think anyone. I, I don't want to say anyone. I don't, I mean I. Mirror's Edge is not a, an IP that has much resonance. I don't I don't think that. It's going to do gangbusters numbers. I think this is something that they felt they had to do. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is another. Let's let's stop being the most evil company in the world. Yeah. Let's get let's let's make motherfuckers stop voting for us and that. So we'll give them things and change our monster to gamers first. And mm-hmm. I believe that they believe it. Don't get yeah. me wrong. 
But I think that's totally what this is. Yeah, of like, hey, you guys, are, you want a lot of you wouldn't shut up about this, so here you go, and yeah. it's not gonna sell well. And then they get to save from there on out. Like, mm-hmm. we're doing, we're taking yeah. chances, we're doing Yarny, we're doing this, and they ain't moving units, so that's why you're getting mad at every unit. Yeah, I love, I love Mirror's Edge. I'm excited for this one, and I, I think it's gonna be good. But I do think it's not gonna be great. Yeah, and I, I think that you know the people that play it are gonna swear that it's great, even if it's not that great, just sure. because they want it to be so much. Yeah, I, mean, I hope can, I'm wrong about that. You can relate. I mean, we can all relate to that. I mean, it's, I'm excited for Mirror's Edge fans that they're gonna get. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm stoked for it, man, and it looks great. Like this it does look looks good. what Mirror's Edge, this gen should look and feel like, and whatever. So I'm like, hell yeah, hell yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I don't think it's going to be as good as it could be. Gotcha. Um, ukulele. I am so ready to see more of this game, and I really hope it's good. Yeah. I really, really, really hope that it's good. Are they aiming for this year? Yeah, yeah it's quick. Retired in uh, October 2016. I think it'll be very, good. It's very quick. Yeah. I'm sure it's gonna be good. It's, it's gonna be very quick. It's gonna be a relic though. So I, w- I wonder like what new, newer gamers or people that have grew up with those games like we did, what they're gonna think about yeah. playing those games again because those games don't exist anymore. That's mm-hmm. why I'm interested. What what does the modernized Banjo Kazooie from the Banjo Kazooie guys look like and feel like and play like? You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Because I yeah, if it's if it is super anchored in what it was on N64, so I'm like, oh, this fucking sucks. But I mean, I, I hope movies. it's kind of like Shovel Knight, where it's mm. you know it lo- it is those old games, but it is plays with the tropes a bit. Yeah, you know it it has that kind of like, all right, you're collecting these things, but that's kind of the joke, and you're in on it, and it makes it fun in a different way. Sure. Um. So I, I'm really rooting for that one. Mighty Number no. Nine. Yeah. Finally. Um. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Where, yeah. where I'm are excited you right about? Now? Where's your barometer? Because for a while exci- you yeah, were down on it. Yeah. Now. You've been all like. Yeah, it's hard to say. I'm, I'm excited about it. I just I want to just get it over with. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. You know, like <laughs> I'm just sick of talking about it. Just like let me play the fucking game already. Uh-huh. So that's kind of where I'm at now. Let me, let me play it and I'll, I'll let you know. Yeah. <laughs> so in terms of Lego games, we got Lego Marvel Avengers, which I'm in. Yeah, Aldrich so Killian. It's the game of the year out. right there. I'll be. I'm. I'm looking forward to going back to the Game Awards next year and winning my voice acting voice of the year award. Yeah, 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 that'll be great. Um, but that looks cool. I like yeah, that there's like one, ten bazillion. It's Marvel all the movies, all the movies shoved into this thing. Yeah, cool idea. Um, in terms of Telltale, we got Batman, we got Michonne, Walking Dead. Michonne, Michonne you, I bet. Yeah, well, Michonne guaranteed. Yeah, but uh, Batman, you think it'll be? Have they said 2016? They haven't said it, but I mean, you don't remember that these are the guys who announced Walking Dead and Fable at Fables at the same time, and then Walking Dead finished in like a. It, 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 it takes forever for Telltale to move on things. Mm. Even Minecraft took a while to get out, and then now well, yeah, but a while, but like not that long of a while like i i'm trying to think it's of like, one of those where as much as you know colin and me and everybody else in the world gives them shit about having a lot of franchises they usually are pretty good about spacing them out mm-hmm. so it's like one or two running at a time which i guess is actually a lie already because what borderlands finished up while game of thrones was finishing up while yeah. whatever usually there's a cycle to it i'm just saying i like, mean i'm going off the game of thrones cycle because game of thrones was announced at game awards and happened the next year sure so this was announced at Game Awards. Okay, I guess that's I true. Know. Yeah, but I mean, like I'm thinking with Walking Dead schedule, Michonne's gonna start the year for sure, and I bet you don't get Walking Dead season three until about this time next year. They mm-hmm. start. They put out in November, December. They put out episode one of Walking Dead mm-hmm. season three, and so then they would have to fill in between those things. But I mean, they've announced so many things that it's like the Batman announcement. I'm just saying I wouldn't put it past it that that thing yeah. starts in spring of 2017. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure they already announced uh, Game of Thrones season two. Sure, I believe it, and so, they're gonna want to time that and stuff. I yeah. mean, we keep in mind too that like they announced a whole bunch of Marvel games. They partnered with Marvel. Yeah, you know what I mean. That was at Avengers. We heard about that. Yeah. We've seen still nothing about it. You know what really I mean. So it's that. like, um, I'm very excited about Michonne though. Oh like, yeah. When you you pitched me on it, and you're like, dude, it's what's happening with her in the comics. Right. Hell yes. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. 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 Yeah. Like it's a out. it's a really interesting good idea. Like you know, I think when there was that interstitial between season one and season two, and they put out 400 days. We were all like, okay, cool. Who are these people? Oh, you're doing new thing. And you get to the game, and it's like, well, this didn't tie into anything, really. That wasn't needed. It's fine, whatever. It's new survivors, but why even do it? Whereas this, it's like, to keep you, to remind you that The Walking Dead's happening, and this is a thing, and whatever, like, let's go and actually work hand in hand with Skybound and Robert Kirkman. And mm-hmm. so, like, there's this jump in time, and there's all these questions about Michonne, and, like, let's fill in that gap via this game. And, like, that's yeah. a cool idea. Yeah, why not? Um, Then we got, so Far Cry Primal. Mm. I'm stoked. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to that. Which is coming so soon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's crazy. Good. Uh, Gone Home finally coming to consoles. <laughs> yes, I've I've never played it. Okay, so I, I'm. But you, I wanna, it's been ruined for you, right? I mean, I I don't know. Okay, because I, I here's the thing is I, I know things that happen. I'm not sure if that is the the, ga- the, the, the plot the thing okay. that's ruined. Okay. But okay. Uh, I want to do. It's a short game, so I'm thinking of maybe doing a let's play of sure, my, please. My first thing when it comes out on the good old PS4. Good old PS4. Um, no platinum trophy. 
heartbreaking. Mm. And I know it's a small game and everything else, but fuck you, Steve Gaynor. You, we already know that they, they, <laughs> yeah, they yeah, released him? Yeah. Well, they're not released. No, they've just confirmed on Twitter. Oh, okay. And to me privately. Well, that makes sense. I mean, Twitter. it's a two-hour game. That would be, be kind of bullshit, actually. But they have other stuff. There's developer commentary, so then it's a four-hour game now if you're playing. Okay. <laughs> so then the final two. Now, Colin, you know. We had I a know, just talk. say it already. We had a little talk last year yeah. about, about this time, you know, predicting what's going to happen in 2015. Mm -hmm. Two games came up. Kingdom Hearts 3. Oh. Final Fantasy 15. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts. You're still holding out of that one, huh? Hey, you know. If Kingdom still, Hearts 3 is still not have, coming out next year. We have some time this year. It might still happen, you know. Goofy we, said it was coming out this year. Yeah. So, I mean, if, even we if it like, didn't make this year, it's got to be close to next year. Yeah. February. All right. But being real. So, with both of those games, Kingdom Hearts 2017? No. 2018? Probably, yeah. Okay. Final Fantasy Maybe 15. even later than that. <laughs> no. Final yeah, because now Final Fantasy VII's in the mix, okay. and, those, and the same fucking people <sighs> are producing. <laughs> yeah, so here's my thing. These are three games now that I am more excited for than pretty much any other wow. video game. So it's like, this sucks that they're just like fucking with each other. But it's like they're coming. They're out there. I just I want them to space them out. I'm going to need. Oh, they're going to to play these games. They're going to space them out. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy 15. I still don't believe is coming out in 2016. They can say whatever really, they want. You really don't think so? Nope. That sucks, man. That really <laughs> sucks. Why are you doing this to me, Colin? <laughs> I know that they said that. I will not be surprised if they just bump it, uh, you know, E3 or something like that. But, you know, I'll I'll believe Final Fantasy 15 is a real game and exists when it's in my PlayStation 4. That's when I'll and I'm playing it. I mean, that's the point where I'm where I'm like, you can say whatever you want. You can say 2016 all you want yeah. until the game is in my fucking hands. I won't believe it. Let's keep in mind that Final Fantasy 15 was announced 10 years ago. OK, 10 years ago. They're due to release it. So, uh, you know, as versus 13, of course. Yeah. Um, so this is, uh, not a game anymore to a lot of people and I'm sick of hearing about it. I'm mm -hmm. sick of hearing about Final Fantasy 15. I'm sick of reading about Final Fantasy 15. I don't care. You know, like I want to play it and I'm sure it's going to be great, but when it's in my hands and in my system, I'll start to like, yeah. give it the time of day because it's, it's too much. Yeah, it's too much. It's... And people are giving too much benefit of the doubt about this game and people are just, and I understand people are excited about it, but it's just, you know, just shit or get off the pot already. Mm -hmm. Like, like enough, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Yeah. I mean, you're right. I mean, I can't even argue against that. Like my biggest thing with this is I was excited as shit for versus 13. That was the game that I was excited for. 13 looked fine, but versus 13, I was like, this looks fucking cool. That first trailer, like the one thing I'll give them is the music's awesome. And I remember that, that trailer when he's walking up the stairs, just fucking wrecking fools and teleporting and there's blood. And I'm like, holy shit, this is, this is what I want Final Fantasy to be. And then, you know, for, we kept seeing stuff year after year after year or conference after conference, there'd be the, these trailers that showed gameplay and showed story and showed all this stuff. I'm like, this is incredible, but why is it not here yet? Like it always, Square does a really good job of Showing shit, making it look like it's a lot closer than it actually is. Yeah, like we is, recently saw this with Final Fantasy, yeah. which I'm still shocked that we saw as much as we did. You like, saw, you saw, you really saw nothing. I mean, that was kind of the thing is that you, it's the same thing with Kingdom Hearts. When I told you like a long time ago when we first saw that gameplay, I'm like you saw nothing. You saw a, a boy with a sword, a key fucking blade running down a fucking corridor fighting enemies for a few minutes. Yeah. You, but I mean, that, that, but, they could have just literally put that together yeah, I with know. nothing else. But like other yeah. other developers and shit, they don't do that. Like you don't even see the gameplay. It is just a CG thing. And Final Fantasy could just show CG and call it a day. But the fact that, that at least they showed the stuff and tell you what it's going to be like and allow people to speculate and shit. I like that. But my problem with the Versus 13, which now becomes 15, is over the 10 years, they've changed so much. You go the back whole and game look, has changed. Yeah, different. the whole game's changed. And even the story and there's characters that they were They have cut, to change the story. And it's just like, that's it sucks. And they had to because of the fabulous Nova Crystallis, whatever the fucking hell that is. Um, but it sucks that this game is no longer the game that I've been waiting for. And now the Final Fantasy VII remakes announced. It's like, I almost am like, guys, fuck 15. Like, let's just stop. I want that no, they're, shit. They're not going to stop. Never no, going to stop. I know. <laughs> I know they're not, but it's like, I almost, I would rather personally out of the three, I definitely want Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy VII the most. And, oh, you better, you and better I know put I'm on waiting. your, you better start playing the waiting game for Final Fantasy I'll VII. Wait. I'll fucking wait. But. Holy shit. I can't even begin to tell you when I think that game's coming out. The, the, uh, what you saw, you're like, you were making, and, and it's funny. You're like, we didn't see Tifa, right? And we didn't see all these things. I'm like, Tifa's probably not even fucking rendered. They, they made, they made this whole, 
what we saw was just Barrett and Cloud fighting soldiers. Like it, it, it's exciting what we saw, but I'm like, they're not showing you anything because there's nothing to be seen yet. They, they're saying things like they don't even they don't even have answers to questions about the way the game plays yet. They're like, this might change and this might change. We don't really know the answer to this. We're excited about this, but we haven't even rendered it yet. Like, I'm like, all right, like, yeah. Go away. I mean, I, you know, to me, <laughs> get the fuck out of my it face. It looks like they, they they learned a lot from Final Fantasy 15 that they want to put into to seven. And it's like, oh, it, for it, sure. It definitely feels like they wish they could just skip 15 at this point and just move on. I feel like the fact that we're seeing seven this early. <laughs> no, that's just square. I mean, it's square. It's just, they do this. They did. They, 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 they I don't know. They're in, they're in, they're annoying. You know, like, I, I'm sorry. It's just like they and I'm not even saying Square Enix as a publisher or their studios individually. It's just the Japanese shit. Mm hmm. With Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy and now two Final Fantasy games kind of hanging out there. And they're like, yeah, it's coming out in 2016. I'm like, yeah, all right. So it's just just disappear. They better not do this. They better not pull the shit with Dragon Quest. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you know, it's fun watching you guys hang out on a limb for years. I mean, like, I don't care really at the end of the day. But they, they start doing that with Dragon Quest 11 and I'm going to be fucking pissed. Yeah. You know, because that's a game I actually... I'll play Final Fantasy 15 and I have confidence that it's going to be a good game. I don't think they're going to deliver a dud. I think it's going to be a good game, but... And I think Kingdom Hearts is going to be great. I think, I, 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 think, I think Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be a great game. I'm very worried about 15, and I'm either going to love it or hate it. I'm not I don't worried think about that 15. there's any middle ground. I'm not worried about 15. I'm, uh, what I'm worried about is people's expectations of 15. 15 is going to be good at the very least, and it's going to be great at the very most. Mm -hmm. I doubt it's going to be this alter life-altering I mean, role-playing experience, and I doubt it's going to be bad. Mm -hmm. So it can't be, it can't be bad. Like, I, I just... It can't be like I, and that's the thing about Final Fantasy 15. I mean, it's just it can't be bad. They released a bad Final Fantasy game. It was called 13, and, and then they released it a couple more times. Yeah, and then they just insisted on releasing it over and over again, which is why they did the right thing with Versus 13. It just fucking cut the ties with that put shit. the bullet in that horse's head already, you mm -hmm. know, and just move on. And they did. They finally have done that, but it takes time. I don't think that they're going to deliver a game. I don't. Final Fantasy will in, will suffer immeasurably if 15 is bad. I cannot imagine. The response of 15 is anything less than good and it better be better than that mm -hmm. for them to really ju justify that i can't imagine how much money they've spent on this game i can't i you have to assume this game has cost them a couple hundred million dollars at this point i mean like i i don't i don't know how you can't the the amount of time it's been working on they seem to have scrapped the whole thing and then started it again or at least altered it they have a bunch of their big guns on and i mean a, a game of that caliber in adjusted money, I think Final Fantasy VII cost something extraordinary. Like, um, I was just reading about it. It was something like $120 million to make in nineteen ninety in the early, mid 90s. Yeah. That's with adjusted money. You I <laughs> they better deliver, or they're gonna they're gonna hurt be hurting. Mm -hmm. Um uh, because that, that game's not obviously not been cheap to make. Um and I'm I'm for the Final Fantasy 15 fans out there and people eager like you out there to play it, I'm confident that it's gonna be good. But yeah, I don't. We'll but I think everyone needs to set their expectations. If this game does not come out in twenty six, it's not going to come out. I, that is going to blow my mind. I feel like at this point, it's like this is really like, all right. It was cute that it didn't happen in twenty fifteen, but twenty sixteen, it's like you fucking have to release this goddamn game. I mean, it was obvious it wasn't going to come out this year. I mean, I, I, the based on what I saw in Tokyo and stuff, even twenty fourteen, like no way, no way. And then I, I think uh, it was Tabata. I think when I, I met with him with with our friend Mitch. He said the numbers aren't exact, but he said something like we're 55 percent through the game. And this was in 2014. And then I think at TGS, he literally gave them like 5 percent more or something like that. <laughs> like, I, I'm not even kidding. I think it was like 5 or 10 percent more. I'm like, oh, my God. What are you doing? Yeah. Um, but but obviously the end of development ramps up. I mean, I believe that Final Fantasy 15 is probably done. Like, I think you could probably play it mm -hmm. like beginning to end. But that's just the beginning of the battle for a game like that. Yeah. Now they have to balance it and tweak it and re rewrite shit and add shit and remove shit. And cut and characters and remake them. God damn it. They better revoice that one blonde dude. <laughs> Holy Christ. That was awful. I, 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 that, was, that was the only thing I walked away from for that demo when I played it at PAX East. I was like, whoa, mm -hmm. man. That better be placeholder. And I think it was. I think they are going to revoice him. Yeah, um, I have hopes. But yeah, I, I think, I, I mean, I'll be very pleased if it comes out in 2016 because I know people are excited about it. I just don't understand how it's going to happen. Yeah. Like I just, what, what about anything they've done with that game gives you any confidence that it's going to come out in 2016? I don't see, I, I just. It's time. I'll believe why. it. I, mean, I, I just it. feel like it ha they have to. Even when, when they're even working if they, on even, all these other games. Even like, if they, they give they it a release date, to. I'll believe it when it comes out. Yeah. Like I'll believe it, the, the day it's supposed to come out, I won't even believe it's coming out. So. Yeah. 
I get that, but I'm I'm hoping you're wrong. <laughs> Me too. All right. Is there any other any other games that aren't exclusives? Not that I can think of. No. I'd have to really sit here and think about. Yeah, it. If anything, we, we can. We will run into it at some point. 